like short of because it's a subject that, unlike things like biology and chemistry, you can't just look in a book and study for a few hours a night and expect to get good at it. You actually have to sit down with the brush and practice being mindful of what your own body does to the art itself. I think that calligraphy is awesome because it gives you a really unique perspective on a language that I've never been able to have access to before coming here in Japan. And um, it's a, that point where language and art collide and it's just really interesting to get, gain like this well, other For me, at the first place when I started, I started to learn Japanese, it was very simple. I want to be able to look, watch anime without subtitles. <laughs> But after I came to such an advanced level, my goal has changed. I, I want to learn Japanese and I want to use the way I have learned it to, to teach other people. Since I've been young, I've always had this interest from Japan being kind of this Eastern country that is developed but different and has such different different cultural roots. Yeah, in the culture, it's essential to know the language at least a little. I think, at least I think so. Because, um, for example, in a religious way or sports or whatever, um, there will always be words and expressions that are in, the, in this language. And if you don't understand them, you can't really understand what this and you can finally, it's, it's great when you finally begin to understand the people talking on the streets or in the track. Definitely, That's definitely. <laughs> Communication is a big factor. Yeah. That's yeah. definitely what keeps me going and talking with people.